So that has been my secret all this while. That's why things are moving well for me. Are you sure? Yes. Are you very yes, sure? Yes, yes. By the way, how do you serve God in kingdom advancement through your offering? Well, when I come to church, I give God one CD. One CD? That is what my friends can carry. After by, all, I have By, a by the way, let me see your wallet. Hey, brother, you mean you have 100 Ghana CD here? 50 Ghana CDs here? 20 Ghana CD, even 10 CDs. But if we give you one CD for God, you want my wife to beat me? No, your wife will not beat you. Have you forgotten what Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7? It says that God is no more. Do not be deceived. God is no more. For whosoever a man sows, the same shall he reap. So if you sow one CD, God will give you one CD. If you sow 50 Ghana, God will give you 50 Ghana. So you mean if I sow my 50? Yes, brother. Oh, now I see. Yes. God bless you. Bless you too. Amen. Hey, brother. It's my year of breaking limit. That's also my portion in Christ. Mm -hmm. How is business with you? Oh, business. Even last night, I didn't eat too. Business is very slow. Really? Mm -hmm. How do you serve God and I lose? How do you serve God? I heard your testimony that you bought a new car and then you are building a big house. How yeah, do you... It's all the work of God. Really? I'll be faithful to Him so He never fail. He forbid His promise to me. Really? Yes. By the way, how do you pay your tithe? Tithe? That's it. I pay once in a year. You see? That is what the problem is. Really? Yes. Look what Micah chapter 3 verse 10 says. He said, test and see that I will not open the gate of heaven, that I will pour all my blessings that your house cannot contain. So how will you be paying uh, once in a year or in, in twice no, in a year? No, I don't want any pastor to chop my money. Really? Yes. Do you think you are giving me pastor? Now see what God is doing for me. I bought a new car yesterday. My building is there. But my business is flourishing. So what are you saying? Now you are not jealous. Ask me how I buy my new car, I build my house, where you are not be faithful to God. So you mean if I pay my tithe, I'll get all those? Yes, that is what the scripture said. We live by the word. So you have to obey. Okay. Then I'll pay. Okay, thank you. Shall we please begin to thank God, give him all the glory, give him all the praise for what he has done in the last service and what he's here to do in this service. We give you all the honor. Fathers, in, in God's word, he said, when we pray, the angels come down. When we praise, he himself comes down. So can we please invite the choir? Pastor, yes. is the other here? Ah, where are you? Oh, seems like they are rehearsing. Rehearsing? Rehearsing for what? Mm, maybe for the next silo. Ah, oh, next silo! Hmm. It's okay, no problem. You see, we call ourselves genuine Christians. When pastor makes an altar call, we sit down or we stand to clarify that we are genuine Christians. But when it's time to go out for God, we are nowhere to be found. Outreach, we are not there. So winning, we are not there. Crusade, we are not there. And you call yourself a genuine Christian. The Bible says in Matthew 63 that you should seek ye first the kingdom of God and this righteousness, and every other thing shall be added. Ababa once said, you will never know what is obedient until you obey. A genuine Christian is someone who serves God and does the works of God. You will never know what is obedience until you obey. What am I saying? Remember, Operation 10 for Christ, count down 1 over 10. One man is gone. Is your soul in church or how many souls have you brought? That's a question for you to answer. But for I and my household, we are from Vision 2020, which is Operation 10 for Christ, and it's our year of breaking the news. So, I'm Christ.